so much to catch you guys up on. Um, number one. Just go to number two then. <laughs> Thanks for all of the um, messages about us being sick. I wanted to kind of update you on that. Number two, I wanted to update you on the chicken and what happened to her. Because there's a story. A good story. Number three, I wanted to uh, share Squatter's Camp because Jake gave it a little refresh. Number four, oh, we've got some great products from QVC that I wanted to share. As far as us getting sick, several of us had it. One of them got sick. I don't even know if I told you any of this because this hit a couple of them the day before we left, but they had like nausea and they, they didn't know what it was. Well, then it started other symptoms and Deb started getting sick the day we left. The morning that we left, she woke up, had a really runny nose and she thought it was allergies because we took this big hike in the woods and this is her allergy time. So it wasn't until we got home on Thursday, I was fine when we got home but then I started getting the same snotty nose, sore throat, blah, blah, blah. They messaged everybody in the group and said that they had COVID. So we knew at that point that we did too. It was just a basic bad cold with body aches and fever for a couple of days. Deb ended up yesterday going out and working, but I was still just so tired because I've not been sleeping because of a sore throat, etc. I thought I'm gonna to go to bed last night, I'm gonna get a really good night's sleep, wake up today, and I'm just gonna feel marvelous. But I am one of those who, when I start coughing, I can't stop. Must be how we are made because my dad has it, my daughter has it, I have it. It's like somebody is taking a feather and tickling the back of your throat and you cannot stop coughing. It's just nonstop. I could tell you story after story of going to all of these doctors, from the time I've been young, everything they try, nothing works. They were even giving me adult dosages of cough syrup as a child. It did not work. Last doctors that I worked for were ear, nose, and throat doctors. And I was begging them one time when I was sick. He, he gave me codeine cough medicine. It didn't work. He said, I have one more that I can try. I don't even give it because it is so strong. I went to the pharmacy to pick it up. The pharmacist called him to verify because nobody gives it because it's that strong. And guess what? It didn't work. going to like I said give you a tour of squatters camp if you do not know what that is please go to my profile and find that highlight and watch it from the beginning it is the best story ever um Deb and I did a few stories over there showing you a few products from QVC so I want to share those next and then I will share the tour of the squatter camp squatters camp a little bit later few of these nice fans because my wife has a hot flash every two minutes anyway best fan ever it is cordless it comes with a remote control it has four um, levels of for uh air air or speeds and then there's directionals your power button and it also has a timer, so that's a plus. And a remote. Did you say that? I said a remote. Okay, and they come in really like retro colors. I'm gonna link this one here too. If you come over in the summer, you will always see me wherever I am on a porch with that fan because you don't have to plug it in. Lightweight, they are excellent. We ran into town to go through a drive through to pick something up for dinner because we still have no groceries because, you know. I wanted to tell you about the chicken. 
story really quick. So remember that we got seven chickens and they laid for the first couple of days and then every day we would go out there, the eggs would be gone. Then we started finding eggshells and we noticed that, or we figured out one was eating them or they were eating them, we didn't know. So chaotic the day before we left that we had to try to figure out which chicken was doing it and figure out what we were gonna do with it. So we would pull it out, pull one out. We thought we knew which one, but they all are Woods and Whites color. I don't know if you guys realize that, but they're all brown and white. We didn't even really realize that they matched our decor, but they all have a little bit of a difference. So Deb thought she knew which one was doing it. So we picked that one up, let it free range and left the rest in there. One of them laid an egg. So it was fine. So we picked that, that one back up, put it back in. So as I was changing them, I saw one laying an egg, sitting where she lays an egg, and one pecking behind her. And I said, it's that one. So Deb picked that one up and said, it's you because you have egg yolk all over your neck. It wasn't the one with the egg on its neck. So by process of elimination, and several times of laying an egg down right in front of this one, it would dart across the yard and peck an egg. We knew it was that one. Not make a good farmer because I wanted to cry. I didn't know what we were gonna do with this. We asked the landscapers if they wanted a free chicken as a pet. Not for the eggs, just as a pet. Nobody wanted her. So Karen, who stopped by to get all the details of watching Ivy and all of that, she said, I know someone who will take her. I thought, is what I thought, but I, I just said, okay, I'm gonna believe that he's gonna keep her as a pet. I said, no, he, he wants her, he's gonna keep her. And I really thought she was kidding me because she knows I'm very sensitive like that. And I said, I'm gonna believe you, but I didn't believe her. So she texted us the night that we got in Alaska and she said, we got your chicken and he's he's gonna take care of her and I said okay and she's gonna live a long happy life and then I got this picture here's a little song I wrote you might want to sing it note for note don't worry be happy in every life I have to show you squatters camp tomorrow. I am so exhausted. It just hit me again. I never showed you my sleep from last night. When I say I didn't sleep, let me show you. My watch records it. So tired. I hadn't slept a wink. I'm so tired.